Oh, hey, Martin, I forget to see you standing there. <laughs> oh, where'd I go? Where'd he go? Ignore the flashing light. <laughs> <laughs> Now where'd I go? Uh, same, same, same spot. <laughs> we hopping in the Blackhawk? Yep, yep, get in the back seats. And is my uh, drone set up for when I get back? Don't get in the gun, you won't be able to get out easier. God damn it, yeah. hang on. There we go. Yeah, just get in the back seat. Uh, I'll do, I'll set your your drone up right. I can set it up to head towards the target. It's um the Yavron R3. It'll be parked in front of the Sentinel hangar. All right. Actually, I will. I'll get the drone flying after we take care of all this. Yeah. It's I'm giving you the one with the uh, two GBUs on it. Sounds good. Hopefully, I will need them. <laughs> God, hopefully, we'll need them. <laughs> Alright, so, Dave, just you, what you're going to do is um, whatever your sling load assistant is, did you map, did you go and like have a button for your sling load or you can scroll wheel onto a sling load? I did not. Or I can scroll wheel. Can you select like sling load? Yeah. Well, let me... All right, and it should make a little radar screen pop up in the bottom left of your screen when you're in it. Oh, okay. So if you don't have a sling load assistant uh, button turned uh, mapped, lay in the helicopter real quick and map one because it makes it a lot easier. All right. Because so it I... it'll uh, make a little radar with different dots around. Red dots mean you can't hook up to it. Blue dots mean or green dot means you can hook up to it. All right. So and you just will go over the item and then sling it. And you have to hover over it, and you'll see the little gauge fill up, and that's it uh, connecting itself, so you don't have to have somebody on the ground doing it. All right, cool. Unless you want to do it the real way, where you'd have somebody on the ground hooking it up. Uh, no, we'll we'll do it the easy way, since everyone... This is 2036. Using All right, technology. map a sling load button. It's called, like, sling load assistant or something. Yes. Sling load assistant... It's in helicopter controls. Yep. Not helicopter movement. Or helicopter movement, whatever. Oh, sling load the system. It's currently right control B. Let's see, do I? Oh, that's auto hover. Set it to there. All right. So when you take off, you hit that button, and it'll put a little radar screen on your left side. Bottom. <coughs> see it? All right. And then when you pull forward, you'll see a green dot. You'll see dots. When you get over something, you'll see a green dot, and you can sli start slinging it. And it'll show like 5% when, is when you just kind of locked on to that, what, that's the item. And you have to hover basically right over it, put it inside the inside crosshair, and it'll start filling up, it'll say slung. It'll be 100%. So you gotta get like literally right over it, like in like four or five meters. Alrighty. Come on. You're 15 to 20 meters behind it. I know, I can see it. Okay, I just didn't know if you were at a perspective perspective issue. We're gonna crash and die! That's why the sling load assistance really good, because you're flying a big helicopter like a Chinook, where it sling loads like 20 feet behind you, mm -hmm. You and you don't have a crew chief looking out the bottom hatch. <sighs> See, it's Where's lowering it down. Oh, oh. oh, damn it. Damn it. I gotta throw oh. it in the auto hover. PIO. Yeah, it's armor can be touchy. I can do it. I I almost never use auto hover in this unless I'm trying to do something in Zeus. But it's just armor can be very touchy. Yeah. Um, be glad you're not an advanced flight model because you'd be a VRS to deal with that. 
Advanced oh, flight model is actually easier to fly in some aspects because it lets you do more realistic stuff. But yeah. its Arma is not correctly modeled. A little bit more. Got it. All right, all right. Go ahead, slowly bring the power up. You're good. Bring it up, lift it. Are you lifting? Yep, your boat's clear. It should tell you on the slinglet assistant how high off the ground your cargo is. Cool, cool. Throw the night vision back on, and I have the drop-off point marked. All right, get comfy. We gotta go about 13.5 kilometers. <sighs> Are we there yet? I will turn this helicopter around. I Professor to to won't stop. Professor won't stop touching me. Professor's allowed to touch you. Stop. Rock just peed himself. Kilometers and I don't want to go too fast, so they're just parachuted out. When you pop seats, jump out, or it looks like them. Sometimes they do jump out though. What the fuck? Wait, what did you anybody remember to bring a flashlight for their map? Nope. <laughs> I do. I did. I, I save one in my gear loadout. Yeah. I thought you were going to bed. Uh, I mean, have you heard of FarmersOnly.com? I hear it's full of livestock. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Arma. Let her know that I'm flying. <laughs> Day's gonna kill us all. Yeah. He's the pilot. <laughs> oh my god, the boat's desinking right now. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh. That boat is looking weird as fuck on the end of the ropes, man, considering two of the ropes ain't touching it. <laughs> uh, you're about to fly into an area we do not control. Am I? I would recommend flying due south. Yep. Until you, you're going to cross over the one island, and then you're going to go over the bay, and you're going to pass over the south island that we control. Head mm -hmm. due south. You're not going south. Yeah. Where's my compass at? I can't I'm fucking read anything. To, turn slightly left. I'm just looking at the map, yeah. Yeah, when you're in the map, remember your throttle cuts out. So just go south until you pass over the second <laughs> island and then hook it uh, east. Copy. Because there is AA stuff on these I on the islands we don't control. Um, if you hit your left or right bracket key, it should bring up your GPS. That'll tell you your location and heading and the map. Oh, cool. Yes, and the sling load assistant on. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. I don't want to go too fast. Arma, you know, Arma things. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> 
<coughs> Excuse me. So, have you guys decided how you want to uh, exit the helicopter? You want to just drop this boat in the water and then you guys repel down? I thought that's how we were gonna do it. I. I um, if you do like a two meter hover, then you just jump out and just oh, jump okay. in the water. Just everybody knows to surface right away. So what you do is you drop the boat in the water, mm -hmm. and then you'd shift a like, couple meters from it, and then jump in, because if they jump out and jump on the boat, you'll break your legs. Yep. And then you'll drown. All right. I'd stay, I'd get, definitely be lower than this. Remember, you're flying around, just for moving forward, you're flying around, you know, airspace where there's a lot of non-radar guided artillery or uh -huh. anti-air defenses so harms aren't going to be you know the u.s's massive seed arsenal is kind of limited when you're facing stuff that you can't find I'm getting so you now. don't want to ever be flying real high around these areas yeah for sure i'm just you know Trying to make sure the I keep forgetting about my little altitude thing here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't, you know, fuck up our boat. I'd flip the, flip the lights off. What is up with that random little diamond I see on the screen? Not sure. Yeah, I've never actually figured that out. I think it's oh. where somebody is looking, but I'm not sure. Huh. Oops, my bad. We're two clicks from drop. Everyone ready up. Uh, come on, five more minutes of nap. Wait, my boots are going to get wet, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You're going to sink in that ghillie mata. No, all, right. all the little fibers will trap air in there and you'll float. <laughs> So we ride Mata? Yep. <laughs> oh, finally! My dream come true! Hey everybody, grab an ass cheek. All right, one out. I'm gonna start slowing down now. Have you heard any status of the uh, ballpark or touchdown? Shoot ballpark. Are we there yet? 500. You're dragging the boat in the water. <laughs> Man, checking its seaworthiness. We're good. We're, I mean, we're close enough. You can do it here. Uh, yeah, I guess if they're dropping in the water. Right. Hold still and release the boat. Not gonna destroy it from this high up, or no? Just drop it. Should be fine. Alrighty. Dropping. 
keep an eye on it. The boat's fine. Alright, so bring us down. That was not repel. Okay. What's our height? Five meters. Four meters. All right. Huh. Are we over? Are we directly over the boat? Should be. No. Okay. Move off the side of the boat. I just repelled. Yeah, it's a big risk though. If you land on it the right way, it'll break your legs and you'll fall in the water and drown. All right. Hold us. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. All right. Uh, we might be a little too far out. Hold on. You bring us in a little closer. Come back right a little bit. Yep. Watch your altitude. Just hold it here. We're good. Right, hold cool. it. Good. All right. I'll go last. Faster, Rocco, out. Just jump. Hit V. V is eject. What is it? V. Victor. Victor. Victor ejects you from right. the boat. All right. Last man going out. I can stay here. Make sure you guys get in the boat. And then I'll uh, I'll depart once I know everyone's safe. Someone doesn't have an IR strobe on. What happened to my IR strobe? You get wet? Huh? It won't let me. It won't even let me attach it. That's weird. Well, you're in the boat. It won't let you attach it. Oh. oh okay. All right. Let's go. All right, who's I'm, the thing? I'm heading out. Oh, Martyr is. I couldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Hi, Dave. Hi. Um, that was weird. You know, if you hold down shift, it goes faster. Marginally. Hey, we're surfing the waves. <laughs> swell. <laughs> Riding up the back of a swell right now. That's swell. So I'll need somebody that brought a flashlight with their map to guide me to IP. Right five. What? Do we still own no, no, no. Cat Cola? What's do, that? Do we still own the city of Cat Cola on this yeah. island up here? All right, I'm stage over there. Yep, I'm gonna land over here and and do everything. Uh, how do I switch between my laser and my light? I don't know where to do that. Don't I come around this island, or do I just go straight from here? Um, left, 10. Straight on. <laughs> Gotta get this thing on the ground so I can get the drone going. Control L. Left 15. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Why does it? Uh, why does the e engine shut off holding W? Don't know. So we should probably avoid that light that's over there to the right. Yeah. So yeah. 
but we are one kilometer out. Out there. Like a town of some sort. You know there's a helipad around here somewhere. I believe at that light there's a uh, pier or dock. According to the map. According to our intel... You can head that way. There's some bushes over, or rocks over to the left. Might be a good place to put the boat, unless you just want to beach it, because they will float away. All right, Blackhawk is down. In, in, oh, no. in a good way. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, go left a little. Okay, and then back right. Drone is taking off. ETA, five mics. We can push it back off the beach, too. Alright. Alright, so, so where are we heading? heading? That way. <laughs> okay, now what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me let me look at the map real quick. Find an observation point where you can look at Mater yet. Yep. So there's a decently tall hill here, but you can mark it's, on uh, the... I see it. Probably um, in the bush. Um. <laughs> There's a clearing after that, I'm guessing. Another. So the way the map meter. works, you know how to read a topo, right? More, more, more or less. All right. So the little pointy things, those are like rocks, like craggy yep. rock. Uh, those those labels one five five one eight zero. That's it's that's the height above sea level. Yep. In meters. Um. And then you have like the open spaces are clearings. The green is trees. The closer together those little red lines are, the steeper it is. So if you combine all that little knowledge together, it lets you kind of figure out good places to be versus not to be. Yeah. And I don't know a good marker to use, so I'm just going to use when all is finished, just an arrow. We'll observe from there. That sounds good. Oh, you guys can't see, can you? If you placed it in global, you can see it. Oh wait, they don't. They they can't because the map. Stand by. I'll fi I'll give you guys um. Fultons. I still don't know how right, to set a. Write it. Uh, right at Charles' feet, uh, martyr. Look to left on the ground. There's Fulton flashlights for your. To, and then you go into your map and you turn them on inside the map. They you interact while you're in map. I still uh, don't professor, know. How... Professor, you got one. Uh, yep. Rocco, you got yours. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm gonna piss real quick so you guys can see his map now. I'll catch up with you guys. You just go ahead and start moving. Okay. So you wanna go to the craggy rocks there? Yeah. Seem like a reasonable observation we'll point. Yeah, we can try it. Mostly free from trees. Yeah, we can try it and see what I can see. All right, Professor, you want to lead on? Yep, let me set myself a waypoint. Do either uh, of you know how to set 
a predetermined altitude for a drone without having to manually um, fly it. I think you control left click somewhere on the map that you want it to go to, and it, however, it's however you make the waypoints, it should allow you to set like the type of waypoint and the altitude. I don't remember how to do it though. I know how to set a waypoint. What are you heading to Modergat first? Yes. The road. All right, looks clear. That's still wanting to hold at like 1600, so I am just going to manually put this thing at like Cross it. 2000 meters at least, 2500 maybe. Cross. Professor, cover right, I'll cover left. Rocco, come. Over. Yep. Pushing up the hill. And if you have thermals, you shouldn't really be able to see me. <coughs> Excuse me. Is the nice thing about the stealth and the uh, Viper gear. Um, in the base game, one thing that's neat is uh, your feet will leave hot marks. So if oh. you stand in one place too long, it'll warm it up. And so you can track people that way. All right. Mm -hmm. My stam's getting in the red, so I'm gonna walk. Yep. I'll do the same. Oh, that. Uh, I gotta go around that one. Probably play Arma with my headset on. I can <laughs> hear directionally. Arma does have decent 3D sound. Yep. Just hate wearing it. It's hot. That and I'm a whiny crybaby. All right, drone will be overhead momentarily. Got it at about 3,000 meters. Should stay up there. They should be able to detect it this high up. Jesus Christ, the one thing I hate about nods in the army, I fucking fall prey to it in uh, this game as well. Getting that fucking tunnel vision where you forget to look around. You guys will have drone coverage for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then it's out of fuel or? Out of fuel. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Alrighty. Wouldn't they should be that short of fuel that is? I'm just, I'm basing it off of how it went the last time. Yeah, I just think it's crazy that thing consumes fuel that fast. Mm -hmm. It might be a little bit longer. I, I I'm just trying to remember. So. Thermals are on. It's I'm I'm up in front of you guys and seeing you guys just slowly start appearing through the woods, <laughs> with your IR strobes on is pretty cool. I was about to pull oh, you out. I, you I, out I, someone else. I see lots of movement from up here. I hope they haven't spotted me. I, they shouldn't. I'm at 3,000 meters. Also, Bronco, I'm glad you called out that you were there because I slowly started to see you up here. <laughs> oh That's my weird. God, I... Bronco, why doesn't put a little uh, thing around you? I'm not in your guys' squad. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm talking, guys. I see 30 plus contacts. Copy. At Fox least. Story. See, they're, they're running around. That's why I'm worried that oh, they okay. spotted my drone. I'm so used to playing this game without it being in this, it, with using only Shack Tack for UI instead of this base game one that I'm so used to not using it. How do you walk again? Control C. Oh, that's what I was Fifty meters. Hmm. I must have changed the control because Okay, because control C changes me to flash between flashlight and laser. Hmm. Coming left. Didn't see that rock until I was up on it. I hear your motor. Sound like a plane? No, like a vehicle. Coming from up front. Copy. All right. Alley, a town ahead. All right. Entering a clearing. Oh, what the fuck! I just climbed a tree without climbing a tree. Let me see what I can see from right here. All right, so I got a technical there. It's currently stationary. I've got panicked guys back there. I see three. I'm looking for you got guys. Another guy there, just to the left of the technical, times two at least. Times three. Yeah. I have eyes on you guys, by the way. Update. I've got somebody right in my field of vision here. Bronco. I I can't tell what this is. Um, There's looks a, like some gun emplacements. Okay. I can't tell what kind of guns they are, but I can see the barrels. Oh, that's Rocco's laser. I'm like, it was coming from way over my head. I'm like, who the fuck? See times three. Okay, I got some guys back there. Yeah, there, there's a whole mess of them running along that road from those you just marked to on button to there. Yeah, be advised, I'm still afraid I might have spooked them, so just be careful. Yeah, let's see a bunch of. Them. So this side of the town looks relatively <coughs> clear. Excuse me. There Got is. That. They're two really guys, concentrating guys around that house. There's two guys sitting at what appears to be a laptop. 
it within that compound right there I didn't get a ping or is it, are you lazing it uh, 357 Copy. for 700 so we've got at least one technical we've got gun emplacements how many did you notice I noticed at least three I just marked on the map where I, I spotted them. Alright. Looks like at least platoon or platoon and a half strength of men. Yeah, I can count 12 right now. So, say 16 or so because they're moving. So, at least a platoon strength. I wish I could spend right. more. I don't want to get any lower, though. I'd like to move right a little bit and get a different uh view into the town i've got a feeling we're we're missing a lot with these trees you know yeah see if you can get an eye on what kind of guns those are if they're actually guns where are the guns at they're you... they're surrounding the house they've got some sort of barriers around them but yeah two behind Sandbag. the house one in front yeah martyr up here there's a good good lookout point yeah. up on this rock if you can get up there hi sky hello all right let's see what we got here okay I see a clock tower, but uh, the street is obscured by trees. There's another truck parked in there. Times two, two trucks. Yeah, I see a vehicle there. Two in there, that's like a UAZ, and then a little vehicle behind it. I'm checking the rest of the town. It looks like most of the forces are concentrated around that house. I'm not seeing anything else. Uh, I'll keep looking. What's your current objective? Recon. Observe. Recon. For an invasion. You can do recon with high explosive. I have two. I mean, as well. The way I see it, if we just GBU that house, boom, problem solved. You don't need to recon the house if there is no house. <laughs> just throw a fucking GBU-12 right through the roof. But no, thermal... Is that emplacement? An AA emplacement? That's my... That's my guess. Or better yet, use the cluster munitions. Where are you seeing the emplacement at? Because I'm seeing technicals. Oh. Yeah, Damn. like I said, two behind oh, the big yeah, house, yeah. one in front. I and should have brought binos. That's four another, times ain't enough. Another technical over here. Oh, yeah, another technical there. Yep. Some bitch being slippery there behind the trees. <laughs> With that tree covering uh, covering our visual on the roof, I wonder if there might be something on the roof up there too. Something on the roof or in the second story. I don't see anything yeah. on the roof. Oh look, there's, I just saw a dude walking back there. Unless you're talking about one of the other structures that are near this large house. Good Lord. Nah, talking about the main house. You go right a little more, or I'll go right a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll push right. There's so. people in the top story of the house. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They just show up on thermals because they're shaded by the palm tree. So my guess is that, I bet these are some sort of AAA, but low tech. They're not 
obviously they're not shooting at me, so. Yeah, there's two guys outside on the second floor there. We can prior basically prioritize that entire fucking yard for an airstrike at a later date. Oh yeah, that's not a laptop. That's an AA gun. There's a slight difference between those two. Yep. How do you mix up a laptop and a triple A? Um, it's a long way away, and all I could see was, like, a thing, a flat panel sitting in front of this guy's face. But what about the barrels? Uh, they were blocked by a fence. But then I repositioned. So okay. in a nutshell, we've got platoon strength of men with triple A and several technicals. What kind of triple A? Gun. The kind that shoots upward. I mean, radar guided? ZU-23? No. Doesn't look like no. it. No. Nah, manual. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't zoom any further. From Dave. Opinion. From what you're seeing, are you seeing any other thermal elements around the town? Or are they all clustered around that one building? A uh, few of them moved out onto the street in front of the house, but other than that, quick scan is not showing anything. Um, they all seem to be around that house. So that house, I feel like, when we do when we do invade, needs to go. That's why I marked it on the map for an airstrike. How much you want to bet the next mission is going to be like, you know, intelligence reports that there's a high value target we've got to capture in that fucking house. <laughs> Bronco. <laughs> then cluster munitions around the house. Yeah, if you need to take a MI building attack, landing? just cluster the outside of right, it. Right, right. Am I landing on that house? Which house? I don't see it. It's hovering. Yep. I, I oh, see another oh, sandbag emplacement. Marking with Eliza. <coughs> I've got eyes on the MI8. It appears to be. Yep. It's uh, it's looking for a spot to land down there. Oh shit. I wonder if I could take that pilot out. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a red star on the side of it. All right. Actually, you know what? Hold up. I so. Can't, you can't confirm <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Not gone away. Seems kind of sus. Did it just drop something? Hold on. No, I, no didn't, thermals I didn't in see the water anything. there. I see something. I hey, see I'm, another... having, I'm, having, I'm having an issue with it right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll, I, uh, we'll ignore it till it comes back. <laughs> I, I see another sandbag emplacement right over there to the right of the house. Would you call me? Looks like the same gun. So we've got one in front and one to the side. Yep. It's a north and south. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on that MI8. It's supposed to have fucking landed by now. <laughs> you guys give me like three minutes. Gotta love armor. I mean, armor. I mean, I can make it land. Suppressed. I wonder. Martyr doesn't do recon that well. I take it. <laughs> yeah, it's only my job in the military. You know? What's that? <laughs> Assault. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny way of saying artillery. <laughs> Looks like it's touching down. Why did it fucking land little... all the way over there? It probably just couldn't find a good spot to land. You, you might have had to actually fly it yourself. Okay, it dropped this. It, it dropped this dude off. What the fuck? What did I hear? Sacrifice? <laughs> <coughs> uh, did you delete it, Bronco? Because I don't see it anymore. Or the uh, the guy it dropped off. I mean, I I moved the guy manually. Where'd he go? 
Oh, he's he land, he's where the thing was supposed to land. Well, so in the cluster of other soldiers. Well, we can. Don, right? If he's got a fucking helicopter, this is just an insurgency group, isn't it? So if they have yeah, a he's helicopter, in, he's in front of the house right now. In front of the house. Copy. All right, he's all right. He's going. He's moving into the house now. Potential high value target. Oh. I think I got visual on him. He just disappeared. <laughs> I have more advanced tech than we have. There we go. Okay, I'm back. He's where he's supposed to be now. I couldn't get him to walk where he was supposed to go. I'd say with this security and a helicopter delivery, you know, and a fucking hip, I would uh, say a definite high value target. I would pay money for a module on DCS that is basically just a copy paste of Zeus from Arma. That would be mission editor. Incredible. Dude. <laughs> um, be it, advised, be able to... drone is down to just about 55% fuel, so we want to move on to the next town. I, 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 I changed what we're going to do. So I'm not going to give you some long RP fucking radio call right now. But there is uh, that guy. You guys beat me to it. You fucking guessed what was going to happen was the next thing <laughs> we could do with the HVT. Because there is a high value target was just dropped off. It is uh, a Russian advisor, quote, quote, is meeting with the Tanoa uh, Arm for, uh, yeah, Tanoan Liberation Army and the Middle Eastern militia that has been assisting them. Uh, Scott, you, you have your down. discretion. Uh, you're to eliminate all three targets that are currently in the facility and uh, cleanse the area. Ooh, I like is there any Ooh, other cleansing. Vehicles? Is there any other vehicles, anything else in the area you've noted? Uh, two technicals. There was a couple of potentially unarmored ones that I saw or that we saw. Did you guys mark the... Th I, I think I see your waypoint on it, but did you guys mark the three technicals out in front of the house? One of them is blocked by trees and houses. Okay, I'm just there are now. three there on on the uh, gray marker that someone put down. So one. All right. You know what? If we're if they're all, can we confirm that they're all in the house now? Patrol seems to be moving back, but they're running around quite a bit. No, I'm talking about the HVTs. The the top floor of the house, aren't they? The little balcony on the left. Dave, this is smarter requesting airstrike. Two GBUs on uh, yonder house. <laughs> uh, copy. These GBUs tend to not work from the drone, but I can give it a shot. Do you guys have lasers? I do not have laser. Nope. Alright. Uh, I'd have to deny it then. I, I can't laze the target myself and drop Stand this. Stand by, I'll give you guys a laser. You can jump down. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a do you not have a CCIP pipper on that drone? I mean I do, it's just it's it's very just hard to do. Fucking send this. it, bro. It's it's fucking difficult to do this with Arma. Just fucking who cares if you accidentally nicked the wrong house? Be advised we got uh infantry moving closer. Spotted there. It's about the hearts and minds. Who cares if they're all over the fucking pavement? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Where'd you guys spot those infantry? Uh, I see you Just guys. Just moving up to those unarmed vehicles. Gotcha. I'm going to push up to the rocks in case this goes hot, because there's a better shot than up there. There's too many trees, so I can't see the infantry pushing up on y'all. Alright, I have a laser designator on me. Alright, I mean, I can give it a shot. Broncos JTAC. Stand by. We are at 50% fuel, by the way. Um, oh, I, have to get so, I have to get some distance, and then... ...try to drop it, so I've got the GPS All right. up. Alright. 
Task Force Corolla calling uh, calling operations. Uh, airstrike target house north side of town. Single structure inside wall. Infill from south. Exfill north. Type unarmored structure. I'm trying to wait. I'm bastardizing this. Oh, uh, request single GBU strike. I don't remember the rest of the fucking thing. <laughs> Copy. Fuck it. Drone inbound from south. Stand by with laser. Martyr for reference. That's 550 meters. Copy. Marking friendly position with IR grenade. Copy. The front of house is 600. I have eyes on the laser. Are you lasing? Lays hot. Lays hot. Stand by. Oh, come on, you stupid fucking drone. Payboy one. Nods off, boys. Climb me back up to uh, angels. Whatever the fuck it is in meters. <laughs> Main angels. Hit. Hit the house. Hit short, twenty feet. Copy. Stand by. Reattack. Right, Reattack. Come, come back in. Sniper. Uh, if you got a sniper rifle, you can start shooting that guy in that A turret. He's tracking the drone. Copy. Hit. Inbound from the north. You've hit the uh, gunner three times. He's down. Take the technical. We've been sighted. They're firing. Technical down. Please, still hot. AA guns are firing. In hot. Come on, come on. This is hard to, as fuck to aim. Pickle. Winchester. Keep it on station for the camera. We're going to start getting pushed here. Yep, yep. I hope that fucking Boom. hits. Boom. Good fucking hit. Nice. Lays cold. Climbing back up to 4,000 meters. Uh, I'm going to... Are you guys hanging out there? Do you need to do any more recon? Or are we getting out? No, Next. We're going to... We have to verify. They, all three of them were on the back. We're on the patio balcony. Copy. If the house leveled, I'm sure they're dead. House is still standing, but the bomb hit right where you want. I wanted it to hit. All right. Can you see inside the balcony? Stand by. I'm uh, getting clear of those guns, and then I'll take a look. Both guns should be deactivated. Copy. I don't see anybody on either second story balcony. Alright, coming over towards you. Back to turret controls. I also don't see any bodies, but I don't see anybody. I martyr base of the building on the road. Yeah, I see him. Um... I do not see any bodies on the roof or on the patio. Shit, and I brought a fucking ACOG. This thing's a uh, bitch. I see, I, I see some be... corpses. I see some corpses. 585 to that guy. Can you see where I'm hitting compared to this? I can't see any. I feel like mine's not drawing correctly or something. Maybe. How many bullets are these guys taking? Yeah, that is kind of weird. Russians are supplying them with uh, body armor. 
like that bloke near the house took four 338 AP rounds to go down. <laughs> I've Group of four marked 740 from the rock. Oh wow. I can just make them out. Bronco, I'm going to go ahead and say that the target, uh, the bodies are cold. Um, Copy. I'm not seeing anything. And uh, direct hits on the house then? With at least one? I'm asking. Copy. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, direct, second one was a direct hit on the house for sure. Second copy. Truck's moving. Oh, it's a uh, rocket. I recommend you guys Truck. get out of there. Are you going to be able to complete the rest of the mission? Uh, we're pulling out from here. All right. Um, are you moving to the next town? You need the recon or? Uh, no, we're going to pull out after this. Yeah, dude, you got a lot of fucking hits right there. Hey, Rocco, if you got that uh, Panzerfaust, he's 550 meters. Copy. I'm down to about 45% fuel in the drone. Well, once you guys start pulling out to back to the boat, I need to take this thing back and get back in my, uh, my uh, Blackhawk. So, do you still need the camera? Uh, no, you can pull out of here. All right. Looks like his wheels are popped. Clear back blast. All right. Drone is RTB. What was that? They launched a flare? We should probably move. They launched a loom? I think so. That is along our Xfil path. Fuck. Clear back blast. What the fuck? There goes a bunch of them. Yeah, this is oh. low range. Where are those going? The hell is that? They're firing off kind of in oh wrong button. Sorry. Sorry, Bronco. No, you're fine. They're firing off like two two six ish from us. Wait, parachute, parachute. That was me. I'm little uh, parachuting out of camera. Oh, okay. Well, there was the airstrike, I guess. So Linghaven is still still dark. We don't know what's over there. About to send in a, another yeah, recon team doing? once it cools out, cools down. Is that that fucking missile truck doing all that? It's one yeah, it looks that's like behind the wall. It's not the one in the middle of the road. It is the one there. That rocket truck is uh, trying to limp away, but I think you guys took out its back tires. Yeah, it ain't moving. Oh, it's rising out for another shot. It is shooting due west. I'm guessing over to uh, Katkula Island. Yeah, Katkula is getting. Oh shit! Getting hit. Catacool is getting absolutely... Whoa! Right what? There's guys in the woods coming towards us. I'll get. I'll put you back, uh, Martyr. Don't worry. Oh, fuck. Just let me know when you're ready to teleport. I'll get you right back. Uh, hang on. Let me take a chance to go to the arsenal and grab my... <coughs> grab my flashlight since I lost that one you gave me. I go. I got hit in three body parts. You gonna live? Um. 
down. We'll see. Where's that flashlight under? It's the a Xbox miscellaneous piece. items, Fulton. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm ready. Right. Damn, I am treating myself. Unless we gotta go. <laughs> One less. Oh. Got him. Alright, I'm gonna put you right back on your body, Murder. Alright. Oh, or I'm gonna put you in cover. <laughs> Players. Martyr. Transport. Alright. Alright, so let's start, we should probably start pulling out of here. Yep, give me one second removing the last tourniquet and then I'll be good to go okie doke you gonna head back the way we came yeah let's just go it's cooking off uh, it was one a truck that was damaged in the artillery firing oh oh uh, let me Reattach my IR. Alright. Dave, you want to do a pickup? You guys want picked up from that island? No, pick us up. We're fuck. Ditch the boat. Pick us up just south of uh, Tupacoro, somewhere around here. Professor, let's go that way, just yeah, because good. it's not. It's just not as far to go. So you don't have to run a kilometer through the woods. Put one of those gray here. markers down approximately where you want picked up. Okay, stand by. Yep. All right, across the field. Can you handle that? Moving. See it. Oh, I see. The little up arrow. Yep. Hook thing. The jumping arrow. Professor, this was, that was a really good call on Catacula. <laughs> Is that where it was going? Uh, Catacula got hit once, and um, Tuva got hit once. Alright. How the hell did they rocket Catacula? It's uh, friendly controlled territory, uh, blue for blue controlled territory. Road. They're just trying to hit blue uh, blue stuff, and they're not firing on the main base because it's got ba it's got the defense system anyway. Road. I'm not sure. Right. I'm not sure if the in-game C RAM will uh, target the rockets or not. I thought I would, but I don't think it, I don't know if it will or not. I have to test that. Evac is inbound. How close yeah, are you guys? I'm gonna have to call this after we pull you guys out and debrief. 350 meters. Because I gotta get up there on five hours of drive. Oh, fun. You can so debrief we'll on the helicopter. Yeah, debrief on the bird. And Martyr, keep your pants on. <coughs> no! No. I've been playing this whole time in boxers because I feel like putting pants back on. That's different. Are you guys... Like, like, none of you ever play a game in boxers. I don't see your guys' like, IR strobes. We're, we're, we're in deep yet. woods. Deep woods, copy. I'm just outside of the blue zone. Uh, hold hold on that um the Catacula Island. Copy. Hold over there for a moment. Yep. And we're just saying fuck the boat, right? Yeah, we're, the boat. We we cut holes in the in the boat and pushed it in the, pushed it back out to sea. You know, old sailors never die. They just get a little dingy. Can I team kill him? 
I thought I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I ran about 18 feet. I'm just wore out now. Leave your gun. Huh. Wait. Well, I can't. Uh, I can't run? Question mark? Look at the top right. Is there a big red line? I wouldn't call it big. Well, that's the problem. You're, you're out of stamina. Yeah, if it's red. If it's red, you're out of stamina. You can walk, you can crouch, you know, then it fills back up quicker. I'm on the beach. I'm waiting in the tree line. I have eyes on your strobes. IR, stro IR grenade on the beach. Copy. Everyone there? No. Nope. Waiting for us, cool. Matty. <laughs> but, yeah, right, I'm pushing up now. You guys are close enough. I put, I put two strobes on the beach. Between those two, you should be able to do some form of landing. And one in the air. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. That one's very visible. <laughs> but that's daylight. That's, that's not a fucking IR flare. Well, shit. I want to throw glow sticks. Oh, wait, no, it is an IR. Yeah, it shows up as white yep. flare and launcher, but I definitely picked IR. Uh, it's, it's no, visible. No, it's white. Yeah. Like a lot. See my inventory. It's parachute IR flare. All right, we're gonna burn the woods. Rag out. I have a. Uh, I had incendiary grenades. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that, that's, uh, All right. That was not incendiary. I threw an incendiary. No, he threw a martyr. frag. Yeah, martyr did not. Um, so stand by. <laughs> uh, I didn't see anything, don't worry. Uh, someone is standing right where I'm planning on landing. Or at least hovering. Oh, oh fuck! I, dro I, I held it too long. I'm burning his body. <laughs> I, I tried to burn his body and I held it too long. <laughs> stand by, stand by. This SLA is great for seeing my altitude when I'm hovering. I, I guess it's also in the top left corner, but. Fuck it, I want to use SLA. Right. Hey, that tactical squad, zero, two, four, four, right, right there. Right, a little bit. Yep. Blackhawk's very easy to control. Everyone in. I see an IR strobe over there. Is everyone in? Pretty sure that's a dead body. Shh, 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 shh. It's fine. <laughs> Can I treat myself in the helicopter? Yes. Are we good? Can we move? Uh, yeah. yeah. What you're gonna see is his body burning. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <sighs> Rip Martyr. Martyr, I just want you to know that your body burned in the greatest Viking funeral pyre I've made to today. Uh, this pleases me. Literally, there's like a 50 foot solid fo ball of fire on your body burning on that beach right now. You can I see love it. that it's a that you made away. today. Like this is a regular thing for you. <laughs> All right, we're back in the blue zone. Okay, so you guys found a meeting between officials from the Tanoan Liberation Army, the uh, Middle Eastern militia that is that is supporting them with weapons and manpower, 
and a Russian advisor, unknown or more info on him. The decision was made to bomb the, to take those three out and cut this off as best we can. Uh, that was a success. The bomb hit the house, killed all three of them, and knocked out at least ten of the infantry around. Unfortunately, they had fired. There was all of BM-21 grad launchers, which we did not know were on the islands, and they fired on Catacula and Tuva, damaging the FOB and uh, killing some civilians in the city. Uh, they've since been pulled in, uh, pulled out of the woods once the drone went off station. We do not know where they are. That's going to be uh, another mission moving forward is going to be to find these grad launchers, figure out how many they have, and remove them from the f equation. So far, no, miss no more missile launches have been seen. They are busy cleaning up the, uh, their leaders off the sidewalk. Hmm. Go team. I don't want to mop them up. I had to mop up the last one. To be quite honest, it's probably the best stop we've done so far. I'm not saying it's because Jarhead was...